Okay, hey everyone, happy Friday. We're back for another episode of Friday Flows here, and I'm joined by now a repeat guest. We need to keep track of the recurring guests and the new guests, but we're with Connor Dunn from our Tynes Labs teams. How you doing, Connor? Hey, Blake, good to be back. Great, yeah, thanks for joining us. Uh, so our Labs teams, Labs team, Connor, they're they're always on the front lines of new stories, which is fun, so it's it's cool to see when they publish new ones, which includes working with a lot of new partners, new tools, um, just expanding the impact of Tynes um, with new technologies. And so we're looking at a company today that, correct me if I'm wrong, Connor, but it's the first story we've built with Nightfall. Is that correct? Yeah, it's our first story with them and hopefully not our last. Yeah, great. Let's keep it rolling. Uh, but first, you know, what... What is Nightfall and what do they do? Yeah, so what Nightfall does is it allows you to scan messages and anything else you'd like to scan. For example, you can hook it up to Zendesk and Slack and it searches uh, your assets for possible data leak. So for example, if there's any PII or other sense of information just hanging around, you don't want them out in the open. You want to be able to catch them and get rid of them so you're not looking at leaking information. Awesome. Very cool technology. And how are we incorporating it today? What's the, the general problem we're looking at solving with this story? So if I just share my screen and show you the story we're working with. Um, so what this story does is it is monitoring your inter intercom uh, cases for that sort of data leak, making sure that both uh, people reaching out to you and people working for you are not passing sensitive information within these messages. And if they do, it creates a times case. So you are one alerted to it and two, you can look at remediating it. So if we open up, for example, here's what it looks like inside of Intercom. And setting this up is actually very easy. All you need to do is go into your settings down to your apps and integrations and into your developer hub. And then from here, once this loads, you can create a new app. And inside the app, you set up a webhook. But, so what this does is it'll look for any time a user creates a conversation or a user replies to a conversation. You can add more topics here to kind of detect more or less secrets or uh, communications. Yeah, and what and that just sends it to your time story. Very cool. So I here in the time story, what it does is it takes your intercom message. So if I come to here and create a sample message, I I have a question. That's gone to my intercom, and this is currently scanning for payment information or what other information might be present. Uh, again, this isn't pick is picking up nothing. But if I was to, for example, use this sense of um, message, which has some sample information, don't worry. If I was to send this, this comes over to my intercom, help desk, and this gets picked up and a new times case is created. Wow. Um, one handy thing as well with Intercom, or sorry, with uh, Nightfall, is they have their Nightfall Playground here. So if you open this up, you can actually add, do a quick questionnaire, and this will actually recommend uh, grace rules or other sections you might need for your organization. Cool. This is great. So obviously you're scanning if any of your employees are intentionally or unintentionally passing along sensitive info and then i guess mm -hmm. similar to you know email like are we seeing intercom as a potential phishing attack surface now more frequently that's actually a great question that i don't know the answer to but it's possible that there is uh some not really phishing but maybe impersonation attacks or other attacks coming through intercom yeah but as well, if your company's not using Intercom, you can always replace this with your Zendesk, with your Slack, with your Gmail messages. You can replace this with to scan anything that comes in and out of your company or even just for scanning company files. Yeah, totally. 
um, that makes a ton of sense. Like start with this intercom use case, but you could plug this theoretically into any channel that's passing along sensitive info. That's really cool. Exactly. Well, great. That's just like, you know, a relatively simple one, but I could see this being very impactful uh, to catch, you know, bad, bad actors, bad information getting out there. Really cool. Uh, great, a great example of where this could have come in useful is in our in the recent Okta attacks that was done by the leaking of HAR files, HAR files, which night followers themselves are able to pick up and detect. And, and a use case like this could have may, uh, may have alerted of that leak. Makes sense. Very timely. Um, and like you alluded at the beginning of this. This is the first example, but I'm seeing how we could quickly go build out, you know, a dozen more stories uh, along these lines for different channels. Cool. Well, thank you. Appreciate the time. Thank you, Blake. Quick one. That was great. Have a good weekend. Cheers, Blake. Bye.